everybody. It's Dawn here from Crazy and Crafty. I thought I would put together a real quick short tutorial on the fish grapevine kit. So we have a 18 inch grapevine. I'll just set that aside for now. And then we have what we call seaweed. It's the best thing we could find uh, to look like seaweed. And I just think it absolutely makes the wreath these hang down. It's fantastic. It looks just like seaweed, doesn't it? So on this here, you're going to get an entire bundle. And inside of this, it has, you just pull these out. It's like a plastic coating. And there'll be four of these pieces, like so. I won't take them all out. But there's four inside of there. So this brown piece here can come off. You can cut it open. You can pull them out. I just pull them out. But if you want, you can just cut it, but there's going to be four of these pieces. This is like a little wire. And then you've got a bunch of little seaweed here and it's all long. And what I did was I found where I want to put my bow and I kind of made that my point of start. So I took my longer pieces. Now some of these are longer than others. See when you see them. So I would actually take this super long one on this side and I started and I just stuck it down inside of the grapevine. I'll pull this one over and show you. So I just stuck it in the grapevine. You always want to go with the grain of your grapevine. You never want to go through it. You'll have everything sticking out your back. You want everything to go flowing the way of the grapevine. So I stuck this, you pull, you want to use hot glue, of course, put hot glue in there, stick it into the wreath you can see there and then I just adjusted it around and I did that the same way on the other side example if this was another piece I would stick it in there and come around this side so you'll have two on this side and two on this side for that and then this would be my point where I'm gonna leave a little open because that I know is where my bow is gonna go okay so that's that part of it. These here that also come with it, you get a bush of these and these just pop right off. And these are going to be little fillers that you're going to stick in and you're just going to take them off the entire bush. And then you're going to have a bunch of these sitting around as a pile for that. And then you're just going to kind of put your glue on there and you're going to randomly place them where you want them throughout. I have some up under here. I thought it looked kind of cool if you could just stick them under and have them like seaweed pieces coming down as well. So I've got a couple under here, one down here, one over here. So you use that entire bush. So I'll stick those back on. And then we have the fish, of course comes bubble wrap there and then he looks so realistic doesn't he I thought he's fantastic so what I did with him is you it comes with cable tie mounts and I have some under here and you're gonna get two cable tie mounts and what I do is I'll peel back this little sticker that's on here I'll put a little bit of super glue in the middle and then I'll just stick it down. And I put one here and one here. And then I took my hot glue gun and I just went around and made a bead of glue that connects the metal to the plastic all the way around and made a seal on it. And I set it aside, let it dry while I work on the wreath itself. Then once these are adhered and the hot glue is set up, this pipe cleaner will go through and then you just twist it around. It's hard because it's not stuck, sorry. And then you will feed this through into your wreath. I believe this kind, this one here, I think I doubled now that I'm thinking about it. So I did it about halfway on each pipe cleaner and then twist it a couple times. And then I fed both of those through 
And then when I was through to the other side, I did twisting and made it tight. And I'll show you what I did for the fish for his placement. I thought it was kind of cool to make it like he's coming out because he's pretty 3D realistic looking already. So I thought it'd be neat if it looked like he was coming out of the seaweed. So I made it so where he's kind of on an angle coming out. So you could find a spot from the tail. You can put your um, cable tie mount here if you want and make it a little closer to the grapevine. And then you've got your one down here you would put so that it gives you that 3D effect. One behind inside the wreath and one on top. And then once that's in place, we'll just pretend that that's in place. Then I just took sticks that come with it as well. And I just started placing them randomly how it would be like in the bottom of a lake. And you just do beads of glue all around. And then come back with some of these pieces and stick them in like I did here around the fish and the sticks. So now I'm gonna move over to the bow. Let me move this stuff aside. And for the bow, we've got four ribbons. And I super love this one. This one actually we picked because it looks like fishnet, like you when you go fishing. Then we've got the fish ribbon. And then this one has lake and bobber on it. And then we have the solid green. So for these, on the back I started with two loops and I have 14 inch tails. And the reason why I have such long tails is I'll lift this up here so that you can see, I'm sorry, there's three loops on this. You can see I made it, and this is wired, they're all wired so that you can make a twist. So that gives that, that uh, effect so it sticks out and it looks so, so cool. And I did the twist on all of these. So that's the 14 inch and again, that is three six inch loops, two 14 inch tails. And then the next one, I did the fish and these are 12 inch tails and six inch loops. And I've got one, two. So we've got two of these, two of the fish. So that's six inch loops and 12 inch tails. And then the next one, I did the green. And for the green, the green is 16 inch tails and five and a half loops on this. And so with this one, I made it extra long because these I did curls. So if I can show you here, it's all the way up and open. And I didn't cut it, I didn't put it in an angle or anything because I'm just curling it up to give it that cute little curl effect, okay? And then, is it three loops or two? I think the fish is just two loops. And the green one is three loops as well. So it's three five and a half inch loops, two 16 inch tails. And our last bow uh, ribbon is the Lake Bobber hooked live bait. So cute. This one is a, a one and a half and it is four and a half inch loops and 14 inch tails. And as you can see here, it's three, but then there's a little button in the middle. And I have this one. Um, I usually do vert vertical button, but this one, I wanted to do it so you, you could have the words. And mine ended up with boat and fish in front, so I thought that was perfect. So again, this is 14 inch tails, four and a half inch loops with the button. And then these are curled just like the black ones. So basically on these, I curl them up. I like to keep one side out. Hang on to the start over. I like to keep my finger on the one side so that I can get to the end here and I can just pull it out and make a little twist. All right.
and that's it. That's that's how you do the fish one. And it's okay if it hangs long down because that is exactly how you see the seaweed. It's never the same. It's always random. So there's our short and sweet fish kit tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a great night. It's always time to get a little crazy. Bye.